Hi guys, I am back from vacation. Some of you probably realized it, but many of you have probably not even noticed that I was gone. I did manage to get all of the Let's Plays I needed for the three week period and hopefully there was just business as usual. There were no extra videos, there were no modding videos, but in general, there were six videos per week and I'm hoping it felt pretty much like there was, there was no interruption. We got back on Monday, so I did start working on Tuesday. It's not really been very easy because the kids are not actually at school or at nursery, but I've got some work done and I'm hoping to get some more work done next week. Again, it's gonna to be tough next week, mostly because my son is actually starting school next week and we have to spend at least one day there with him and it depends on how it goes, whether or not we have to spend some of Tuesday as well. This means obviously a shorter week again. I am hoping I will have all of the videos for this week and next week done. But obviously, I want to try and get a little bit ahead. I need to get a week ahead to feel comfortable. This means if for some reason there is an illness or some problem or I lose the internet for a while, I have videos ready to go. I, I don't have to panic. That is what I'm going to be doing this weekend and next week, trying to get my buffer back in place. That probably means there won't be too many extra videos in that period. There probably won't be a mod vault or that sort of thing. Although I actually have several mods I've seen that I am very curious to try out. So there will be a Fallout 4 mod vault coming in the near future. There are also a couple of large mods that I might be making tutorials for. I was contacted whilst I was on vacation. I need to take a look at those and see if I can make a tutorial video. So I'm hoping to get back in the swing of things in the next couple of weeks and get back to a more regular schedule of six Let's Plays per week plus one other video. Now, one of the things that I did manage to get done over the last three weeks is I got some acoustic foam placed in my room. This is foam that is designed to absorb the reverb, the echo you get from the sound of my voice and improve the sound quality. I've actually been doing a sort of a very amateur hacky setup each time I record using blankets, using old mattresses and a few other things to try and improve the sound quality. I have now actually installed professional acoustic foam instead so it looks better but more importantly, it doesn't require five or 10 minutes each time I want to do some recording. Every time I stopped and started recording, I sort of had to move all of this stuff away or back in place. And it did take a little time and it was kind of frustrating. This will probably save me 10 minutes a day, maybe even 15. And more importantly, it will be less irritating if I just want to sit down and start recording. You know, long term, this might mean an extra video a month or something, but it does mean less stress for me, which is, you know, it's always good. And it, it does look better. I still have a small section in the corner to fill. That's where there is a plastic conduit for wires that come from one room into, into this one. And I, I'm going to come up, come up with some sort of solution. It's not needed. The sound quality is fine now. I just want it to look sort of uniformly dark in that corner. I'm also going to be adding some cheaper version of the material to the door so that when I close the door, I get a little less reverb there. It doesn't seem completely necessary, to be honest. The corner that I have already done basically handles the vast majority of the reverb that I was getting. I, I'm not even sure I can notice any from the door, but just in case, I'm going to put some on the door if I can figure a way of attaching it without using nails. That's an expensive door, and I'm not messing it up. I'm going to use some special blue tack type stuff, and I've got some ideas in my head. I may even put large loops the lumps of blue tack and then put nails through the foam into the tack, not into the door. We're just going to have to see. I'm going to get creative 
But in general, I just, I feel like I'm in a little more of a professional workspace. I should have taken some pictures of what it was like when I was actually recording. I didn't think to do that, actually. When I've got these, like, um, mattresses balanced on top of my laptop and prodded up with the other microphone arm. There, there were loads of little things I did to improve the sound quality, but it did look kind of ludicrous. Now I feel like a, I feel like a sensible person. I feel like a grown-up once more. Having said that, let's move on to what I am planning to do in the very near future with regards videos. I have finished the Fallout 4 Let's Play with Frank, and you might be wondering what on earth is going to come instead of that. Well, you've probably already noticed there is now a Let's Play of Prey. I'm going to obviously finish that. That will be running alongside the Bruma Let's Play, so that's going to be Skyrim. But my plan from now on is to try and have only one large Let's Play, sort of Bethesda-style chapter-based Let's Play, at a time. Recently, I've had sort of Witcher going on for three years, and alongside it, usually some Bethesda game, and it's left very little room for other things. I'm going to continue on with Bruma, and once Bruma has finished, I'm probably going to replace that with another... Bethesda game. Now, it might be something unusual like some settlement building, but I doubt it because, generally speaking, that's the sort of thing that's more of an extra. People like that as an extra. What is more likely is either I will bring back Jack if I can find a quest mod that I fancy doing, and there are a few, and feel free to give suggestions down below. If you want to see Jack back, what quest mod could he do? He still has several places in the desert to, you know, figure out, to do quests for, but really there's nothing major that really is on his radar. He's not that interested in the main battle between the different factions. In fact, he kind of likes being neutral on that issue, or neutral-ish. So, you know, give me some suggestions down below. The other option is a Fallout 4 playthrough of Nuka World as a bad guy. I have done a couple of other playthroughs of Fallout 4. One of them was a, an Institute playthrough on the Xbox. I have, believe it or not, managed to replicate that save more or less in its entirety on the PC. Yes, I've actually done that. I've replicated it. And I'm going to bring back Barry the Sexy Beast, and I'm going to do Nuka World. So that's going to be a thing. I, I don't know when, because of course I've just finished Fallout 4, but I'd like to see what that DLC has to offer for a bad guy. Some people are probably going to say, well, what about Skyrim Special Edition? And yes once there is a script extender in place, but that seems to be on hold right now. I, I don't know what the ETA is for that, and I'm not going to hold my breath. I'd, I'd like to plan some other things just in case that doesn't happen or it takes, you know, too long. More Skyrim playthrough is possible if we get something like the next Beyond Skyrim mod, but I think that will be a while as well. Yes, I am waiting for Sky Oblivion and Sky Wind. Again, probably those are some way off. So, probably we'll be focusing on Jack and Fallout 4. Alongside whichever Bethesda game I happen to be playing, I also want to be doing a new game a game that perhaps I've meant to do for some time that is a little different. For example, right now it's Prey. I'm also planning to do Dishonored 2. That is something I've talked about before. I've got it installed and I would like to do that. There are a few other games like that that I really would like to slot into the rotation. And I think now is the perfect time. I think the channel's ready for it. We do need a bit more variety, and so you're going to see that. So, two games per week, as usual, but one of them's going to be a, a game that is fairly new to my channel, or completely new to my channel, and probably has a, you know, 20 to 40 episode length, and will only be one chapter, as opposed to something like Jack, that just has, you know, several chapters. 
I also want to play some small games in between, a few horror games. I do have a few installed and ready to go. Those I will add in as extras, probably. They're, they're going to be the things like Outlast 2, where I did them on top of the main two Let's Plays. That way I can have a bit more variety. Of course, that's going to conflict with creating mod videos or tutorials. So what you'll probably find is I might do a tutorial one week or a mod vault the next, and then perhaps there'll be a week or two where there's a small, very focused Let's Play. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that, and I'm not making any promises because I do know quite often it, it, it fails to appear and people do get angry when that happens. But that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm going to be trying to do. Two solid Let's Plays plus one possible other and or tutorials and mod videos. I have already started live streaming again since I got back. We're continuing on with Borderlands 2. I still have Payday 2 that I would like to continue with. And of course, XCOM has had some DLC and I am thinking about doing a new XCOM playthrough. I do miss those playthroughs. It is great fun to play Borderlands with some friends and just, just have a good time. But those XCOM playthroughs on, on the Twitch stream, they were a lot of fun. Not just because the game's great, but because it really I got to interact with you guys. It was a, a sort of a community effort, which was an awful lot of fun. That and the fact that I could get you horribly killed. That wasn't actually deliberate or fun, but I, I think that sort of adds to the tension, which is terrible if you think about it. But beyond that, it's going to be business as usual, hopefully. The timetable is going to continue as Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I will be releasing a Let's Play and Monday will probably be a day off or perhaps a another video if I've got something ready. For those of you who are curious as to why Monday, it's just simply, well, there's two reasons for it. First of all, believe it or not, YouTube shows that less people watch videos on Monday than on the later end of the week, for example. But it's also a, a day where, you know, traditionally I've done work to make a video, but I haven't finished rendering it. It takes time to record these videos, to edit them, and then you have to leave them quite often overnight rendering. This means whatever you do Monday probably isn't ready for Tuesday. And seeing as most people do Monday to Friday or Monday to Saturday, that means Monday is the day where you don't have anything ready. I work Monday to Sunday, and so traditionally, you know, I haven't worked Sunday, therefore I've got nothing to release on Monday. Now, at the moment, I actually try to play a week ahead so that I've got this buffer, and it means I actually could do, you know, Monday to Saturday instead and have Sunday as the day off, but as I've already mentioned, Sunday seems to be a day where quite a lot of people like to watch videos. So that's why Monday. I realize most of you probably didn't care. Anyway, I think you guys have listened to me ramble on long enough. It is good to be back. Hopefully things will be back to normal. And I'll try to get another update out in a few weeks when I have a better idea of what is coming. There are several things we're planning outside of just the videos. And I will tell you about those when and if they happen. So keep watching. Thank you for listening. And I will see you guys next time.